Oh, we got drama today. Drama, 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 drama. That's fun. We're trying to get uh, Black Earl on the phone. Uh, that's funny. You're listening to uh, three guys that are very annoyed today. <clears throat> very annoyed. Our buddy Club Soda Kenny's in trouble. Just Google our names, Opie and Anthony, and you'll get the article from the New Jersey Star Ledger. We just talked about that for an hour. We'll talk about it again. Uh, and then we want to go into some Grammy stuff. And we record stuff every night in our office. We have TVs all over the joint. Yep. And Black Earl, who doesn't like going home, is on the phone. Uh, Earl. Yo. What's going on, buddy? What's happening? Did you uh, watch the Grammys? Uh, bits and pieces. Why bits and pieces? Um, kind of boring. Were you changing the channels a lot? No. W where did you watch the Grammys? Um, we were working on some stuff, and we watched it at part of it when we could. In the uh, producer studio. Also known as our big office? No, the uh, producer's room uh, next door to the studio. Earl, everyone crowded into that tiny room to watch the Grammys instead of on the nice couches in our big office with, with a huge flat screen? Big flat screen uh, plasma TV? No, oh, it was just like... Uh... Earl, let's ask straight out. Was anybody from your staff in the Opie and Anthony office... At any time last night? Um, no. No. I mean, outside of... We were working on a um, couple of production pieces, but we didn't touch the television. Look, you just look, said look, you look, look, wait, 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 maybe wait. You were in our office question. working on production pieces? Yeah. Maybe you didn't hear the question. Why are they in our office at all? That's what I asked. Earl, was anyone in the office last night? Outside of us? No. No. No! Earl, what, Earl. Was any of your staff in our office? I'm asking if any of the staff was inside our office. I want a yes or a no. Yes. Okay. We working on yes. Who? You were working on who was in the office. Name everybody. Ben, come in here, please. Who was in the office? Earl? Yeah. Who, who was, was in, in the, the office? office? Well, it was me. Well, I can't even... Well, it was me. Uh-huh. And someone we can't name yet because the paperwork hasn't been done yet. Why would, Why are you guys in our office? Because we, some of the audio we can't access, we can only load it through your computer. Ben, is, everyone is completely aware of it. Uh-huh. But someone was in the office, and this is the problem. They changed the channel, and they fucked us up bad today. We yeah. had no audio because one of your guys was changing the channel. There's been emails and notes posted everywhere saying, don't fucking change the channel. The channel on the big screen TV cannot be changed because the remote not only changes that, it changes every one of the boxes on there that are recording separate channels. And all of a sudden, we have nothing... Uh, that we were recording the night before. Now, I've seen three on three different occasions the same emails go out because this has happened before. And your your staff is supposed to be completely aware of this. I've gotten emails where it says your staff is completely aware of this. And yet again, it happened. What is Danny showing me? Danny's got a, a Danny, just some tell, type of just evidence. Danny, what is well, that? Well, basically, I wanted to see what was going on on the PC uh, last night, so I just did a search for last modified files, and everything that's coming up is <laughs> Ron and Fez production <laughs> between the hours of 8 and 11. 8 and 11 at night. So not only was someone in the office, they were in there from 8 o'clock till 11 o'clock. For three hours. Oh, well, I was working on Eric's computer. We were we were there pretty late. Last so you're telling me that, no, you, so, so what they did was, you watched part of the Grammys, not all of them, but they didn't watch them on the computers and in the, in the TVs in the office, the big flat screen. They ran in to this little shitty peep booth and watched them here next to the studio. That's what we're supposed Even to Even though believe. you were in our office for three straight hours doing Ron and Fez production. You wouldn't... What? You I guys are know. fucking lying. You're lying. Earl, you are lying now. You, why would you watch the Grammys in this tiny little studio when you were in our huge office with the huge flat screen? For the entire Grammy broadcast. For the entire... What? I will tell you the segment that we happen to catch. 
I don't give a shit what what you watched of the Grammys. The fact is, you watched it in our office, and someone changed the channel on the TV, and they fucked us bad today. Was the channel changed on the TV during the time you were in there for three hours? Um, I don't know. Oh God, God. Yes, you do Just know. Just answer. You do know. You know, for the sake of, of guilt, yes. Who right. changed the channel? It was probably me. I will now, weren't you told, Earl, th in three different times that that channel is not to be changed because it uh, interferes I, with the other boxes? I fucked up. I'm sorry. You fucked up? What? Again? This is the third time that I can count, and yeah, I pay no attention to what goes on in this fucking place. Third time? Third time. Third time? Third time. But this time, if... For the sake of everything, I did it. Well, one time, time is... Too, I didn't do it. Earl, one time is too many. We're a very popular yeah. talk yeah. show that I broadcasts in two fucking countries, and you're sitting there with the remote fucking us up. Oh, God. I'm, we love Ron and Fez, but you guys are ridiculous you behind the scenes. You cost us a lot of fucking audio today. Uh, uh, How about you help the show and you sing all the performances, because we don't have them. Do your impression of Bono, because we, we really need it now. Yeah. What did you see? I, I didn't even see. You know what I saw? We saw the... I don't care what you saw. The, oh. We care that you changed the channel when people have told you don't change the channel because it fucks up our recording. And then you denied it. Yeah. And then you denied it. You said you lied. watched it in another office. You lied. And then I asked you how, if anyone was in the office, and your first response to that was no. And then well, it turns we, out that... We were working on production... All night last night. You I lied. don't give a shit. But but when you were initially asked, you said no, which was a lie. You lied. And now, uh, what, e -Rock, no, you, you said, got did something? anyone touch the, uh... No, we said we were in the office, and you said no. I just asked if anyone was in the office at all, and so at we first you said no. last night. Uh, right. Uh, e -Rock, what do you got? Earl, didn't you call me last night in a panic around uh, 7.35 asking uh, how to reset the television yes. recording program yes, on the I computer? Did. Oh, yes. and did I not walk you through it saying, do you see this? Do you see that? Are you watching TV? Yes, you were watching TV. Is everything back and online? And, yes. And what did I tell you? I said, is everything set now? Was the television set on the monitor? And why did you get in that situation to begin with? Yeah, you knew you fucked up then. Because instead of minimizing it, I hit the other button by accident. He disconnected the actual pro... He turned the program off that is set to record the television. I walked through and him I, with oh, it. And, and you told me everything was... Earl, you were in the office. I'm asking you to tell me what was on the screen. I'm like, do you see this? Yes. Do, do these little red dots showing up? Yes. So you're watching TV. The program's back on. It's recording. Yes. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Earl, bye. I can't believe I'm saying this today, but I love E-Rock. E-Rock's full well, of piss and vinegar. Come on, E-Rock. Well, you're not going to... Come on, baby! If it's technical shit, there's no way Eric is wrong and Earl is right. No yeah. way. Come on, baby. Uh, Than's got something. Than? Well... It w I think it even was fixed because we have the first glorious eight minutes of the Grammys. So it may, it may have gotten fixed and then fucked up eight minutes later. Exactly. So like, we could play Madonna, you know, trying to look like Farrah Fawcett in a leotard. That's, yes. That's our gr Grammy coverage. So but like some, uh, so, much. so Earl may have actually fixed it. And then completely fucked it up <laughs> yeah, again. By turning it off. Eight minutes later by changing the channel or, or something else. Yeah. Why are these guys allowed in our office? That's what I need to know. Because I love Ron and Fez. They do an unbelievable show. I, I listen every day. But I got to tell you, their people behind the scenes are incompetent and have no business being in our office where the big boys play. Uh, whoa, wait. Whoa. Get, a, get the fucking guys a little Commodore computer and, and you know, and, and let them hang out somewhere else. You guys don't deserve to be in our office. How else? They don't. Well, we they don't. Done. You, you because of shit like this, you you do stuff that you've been told not to do with the TV, and you but fucked no. us. You cost but us audio, a you don't lot of it. Though. I do understand. You you cost us audio well, and lie about it. Why in, 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 oh. What? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the jump up and down on luggage. <laughs> Great, way to go. Way to go. <laughs> don't. Way to go, Stop Earl. Stop sulking. You fucked up. Who put the grilled cheese sandwich in the VCR? <laughs> Which one of the infants that work for Ron and Fez did that? What'd you, br what'd you break, Earl, this time? And he hung up. Earl? 
He just jumped up and down like a lunatic. You know, let me tell you no something. Fucking cares. For, for anybody Actually, that listens, I, sorry, go ahead. For Eric. anyone that listens to the Ron and Fez show, and here's Earl bantering with Ron and Fez. That's the new Earl, by the way. That is the new Earl. We don't know that Earl. The Earl you just heard is the Earl we have known for uh, six, seven years. Has it been? I don't even know at this point. But that is the Earl we know. That is the Earl we have had a contact with for seven fucking years. He just had a flashback. He had a flashback. What he did was he took the receiver of his phone and smashed it. That's the sound you were hearing. He was smashing it on the table. It either broke or after that he hung oh, up. He definitely broke his phone. He broke his phone. And the anger that came out of that was uh, uh, directed at no one but himself. Uh, he knows he fucked up. I got to communicate... To Don Wicklin, we don't want them in our office. You guys love Don Fez, guess, yeah. but don't want their people in our office. You gotta wire their office with a computer that the production, whatever don't they want need, in can our be office. done. Can't be trusted. We've had emails, we've had notes posted, we've told people personally, and still our recordings get fucked up. And this is a huge day where we really needed the TVs because we wanted to, you know, play some of the shit from the Grammys. It's the last Grammys, night. yeah. It, it's they need their own stuff, whatever they need to record, whatever they need to record, they need in their office so that the 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 infants uh, don't come in and just fuck up our office. I didn't lie about it. By the way, I've been like, I've been good guy. I haven't even brought up the fact that there's surprises on my desk every morning when I walk in. I don't know who's putting shit there. You know, just cups of water and things like are on there. Uh, my computer's fucked up somehow, but, uh, you know, I I'm one of those guys. I could click, click, click and fix a lot of stuff right away. I notice programs are downloaded on my computer. And this is, that computer in the office is a person. It's my computer. It's not an office computer. It's not a production computer. My fucking computer. And I notice programs... Pictures are downloaded onto the desktop from somewhere. I have no yeah. clue. Yeah. There's big lines of history uh, on websites that I have no idea who they are, what they are, what they use them for. That that's yeah. still happening, by the way. But I don't even, I don't even, I haven't mentioned that because I just deal with it. Make no mistake, we have no problems with Ron and Fez. I love Ron and Fez. It's these dopes that work for them. I don't know how they keep the show working with the incompetent buffoons that they have behind the scenes. How that ship, the, uh, the the SS Ron and Fez, stays afloat with with a, a blind crew running it is beyond me. It is a tribute to their own talent that they actually put on a, a, an entertaining program on a daily basis with with retarded children running their show. And you guys laugh at me. They don't deserve to hang in our office. No. The staff? No. They don't deserve it. Because they sit around like, oh, wow, look, this is cool. Let me see what's on TV. Let me fuck with this. Believe me, 24 hours a day, when we're not even here, shit is going on in that office that is helping our show. There is automated stuff. It's the year 2001. Make believe there are robots in there. It's uh, the 21st century. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> it's uh, the 21st century. Make believe there are robots walking around doing work. Right. Because that's exactly what is really happening. It's automated. Things are working even when we're not there. Can't you keep your pal talk camera on? It's on right now so people can check out our office. Office cam will now remain on all the time. Office cam all the time. Log on. You can log on at home. Uh, uh, we will keep that room open. We want you to rat out whoever the fuck gets screen caps. Uh, everyone is a cop for the ONA show right now. All you pests... New mission, monitor office cam, you and all, rat out whoever's in there. You I all get rats. deputy badges. You're deputies now. <laughs> you all get deputy badges. I want screen caps and dossiers of everyone that walks in that place. Someone make a deputy badge and start handing it out. And we will hook up a gun to the camera, and you will be able to shoot whoever right. you see in there. That's right. Earl? Yes. How's your phone? What'd you break? Everything. Well, stop breaking stuff. Well, you prefer me to hit somebody? Oh, who are you yeah, going to hit? Yourself. Yeah, could you just punch yourself in the head? What? Could you do a fight club scene for us and throw yourself through Earl. a bookshelf? I'm hearing good things about you. I'm hearing that you changed oh, your act exactly. and you're doing terrific things for Ron and Fez, okay? But angry. shut up. As the boss of the Ron and Fez show, you got to get your people in line. Get my, you know what? Get this your people in line. Very hard. They 
I don't care if they work very hard. They're fucking up our show. Do you no, get it, Earl? No, uh, There's no, a problem, and and as the boss, you have to take care of no, it. You don't want to take responsibility, then who did it? No, I said I will oh, take responsibility okay. for that. Uh-huh. So I will take complete responsibility for that. But don't knock my fucking crew. Your crew I'm is a bunch of retards. Don't mock your crew. There's new people on your crew every day. Exactly. They're even, retards. I, I'm mocking them. I couldn't even name them, and Ron and Fez have been here almost a year already. Yeah. Your crew? Your crew? Like, like we were, I've been working with the same guys for, fuck, eight years. There was fucking video of your crew playing tag football before the Super Bowl in a park. <laughs> um, your, but as I was, Earl, you was understand like, the situation. As the boss, you got to make sure that you or no one from your staff fucks with our office when we're not here. Well, Simple. It's also my responsibility that work has to get done, right? Yeah, and but why, who... The only room work's capable of getting it done. It's not about the work. It's about who turned the channel... When there were signs all over and everybody was told not right. to turn the channel. It's not about the computers. Right. Earl, and Earl, let me... Let, out of my way right, to right, avoid right. avoid that problem. Let me tell you something else, Earl. Let, let me tell you something them. else as, as far as you being a su in a supervisor uh, capacity here. Uh, you know what happened when we came in here? We didn't really have a, a lot of the shit we needed. Somebody took the bull by the horns, if I can say that. Uh, Jimmy, can I? Um, I prefer you didn't, but it's already out. All right. Took the bull by the horns and went to management, and we fucking didn't leave them alone until we had the equipment we needed to put on the program we need to. Not walking around looking for someone else's shit so we can do our, our stuff. You need to uh, uh, get get your shit together, go to Wicklin, go to Elo, and demand that you get the equipment you guys need to put on a show. You don't think we haven't asked that? Not good enough. You don't think, I mean, and this is not enough because you guys have been great. I will, I want to say this very Watch clearly. us do you a favor. Oh, right now, we'll do you a favor. Wicklin, get story. them the fucking shit they need so they're out of our office. We need it by the end of the fucking week, which is tomorrow. Get them the shit they need so they no longer have to use our office. Do it immediately. They there you go, Earl. Trusted. Problem solved. Who turned the channel, trusted. Earl? Was it you or are you covering for somebody? I'm sorry? Did you turn the channel or are you covering for somebody? No, I'm not covering for anyone. You I'll take the responsibility for it. Did you do it? Did you do it? I don't remember. I woke up 15 minutes ago. I'm, I'm freaking... Oh, boy, you did it, didn't you? I don't know I did last Oh, night. boy. Oh, it boy. really it cost us Grammys audio today. There's a lot of but moving boxes around the joint today. Maybe maybe a few of those boxes should have Earl's oh, name boy. on them. Oh, boy, no, Earl. Maybe it should. Maybe it should. Every show in the country Maybe it is talking about the Grammys, except for us, because we don't have the audio. Because you uh, might have or might have not changed the channel. I was working on a computer last night! So what? I so stay care. off the TV. Don you work on the computer. Big deal. All kidding aside, uh, all kidding aside, Don Wicklin, you got to take care of this, because we've had it. We, we can't have guys changing the channel and fucking up all our recordings. I don't have to get streamed at 8.15 in the morning. Hey, Earl, thanks. Now we get to play our Black Girl song. I love this song. <laughs> After the song, what happened? Oh, Derek is yelling and screaming. Derek, turn your mic on. Everyone is I've pissed off today. I've never seen a crankier fucking show I love it. than the Opie and Anthony show this day. Everyone is fucking in in a crank. Even E Rock, who's the most timid member of the show, went off. Today. E Rock unloaded on Earl. I bow to e Look, I'll do it on pal talk and everything. I bow Please to don't. E yes. <laughs> That's right. Good boy. Nice bow. <laughs> do we got uh, the Black Girl song? Oh, now it's over here? All right, we're going to play oh. this. I was born and raised in New York City In a housing project way up in the hood I dressed in dark clothing So folks started calling me Black Girl Oh, when they used to laugh about it Cause deep down they knew they called me that Cause I was as black as soot I've always been a lazy man A couch potato with a clicker in my hand See, motivation I never had Hid in the shadows when the boss got mad For 20 years I never got a raise I'm 33 and I've never been late I look busy but I'm not, I'm just walking around I pick up some papers and I put them back down One day I'm gonna stop paying my rent Live in a refrigerator box, never get out of bed I'm black girl, a genuine lazy bum I'll always make it through Then 
And one day some lame brains came and took O&A away. And at the age of 33, I felt like I was carrying the weight of the whole station on my shoulders. And Ron and Fezzi knew what I was going through. Every morning I'd unlock the door, lay down and I'd sleep a little more. But then I put away the bathroom key. Everybody was depending on me. I eat a chicken wing with lemonade. Lord, give me strength to make another day. Times I felt I couldn't go on. Push a button, throw a switch, answer the phone. Got lost in the van. I did my PSAs. Ten minutes work gonna take me all day. I'm black girl, a genuine lazy bum. I'll always make it through. Hot times it ends. I could hear Scott so say, Black girl, you're a genuine lazy bum. You'll always make it through. Hot times in any double U. Ken and Jeremy say, Black girl, you're a genuine lazy bum. You'll always all right, we got to go right to Elo. We were going to do this after the break, but we got Elo. Elo, hey guys. Elo, Hi, Eric. were you on hold during that uh, conversation with Earl? Oh yeah. Oh good, you heard that. Black Earl, my man. Can we please um, have uh, the Ron and Fez's office set up so that they could do their work in there? I hear an ugly rumor that Box has arrived yesterday. Yeah, why didn't you tell us that? Because I wanted it to be one of those surprises for you. <laughs> because the bosses love hearing this yelling uh, between the shows, dissension. I, it's that fodder that we like, and then all of a sudden the boxes show up, and you're like, the boxes show up. It's great. See, if the captain of a ship has the crew going at each other, they have <laughs> less time to go at the captain. That's right. you got to keep them at each other, or else, are you get a mutiny. Arr. This is Captain Quig, and he wants Fred McMurray and Jose Ferrer arguing with each other. Arguing. As opposed so to they him. don't notice that he's trying to keep count of how many strawberries are in a can. Exactly. There That's are, right. Who's gopher? Couldn't <laughs> go for in. There are moving boxes all over the joint. Everyone's leaving except for us and Ron and Fez, right? Yeah. And we get the whole floor. Elo? It's the Ron and Fez show. I'm Ron, there's Fez. Hiya, buddies. On music today, Black Earl Douglas. Right till I catch you, baby. Now, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, Fez, as you know, I got in here uh, during the stretch song. Because, uh... Is that what it's called? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not called the stretch song. It gives me a little time to make it up the stairs, but, uh... As I'm coming up, I run into uh, Anthony, I run into uh, Ben, everybody is uh, telling me that this place was a madhouse before I got here this morning. Yeah, I got in probably about 10 minutes ago and got the same madhouse feeling where everybody's trying to tell me a story, but starting in the middle or at the end. Right. And I finally had to say, if someone doesn't tell me what's going on in the next two seconds, I'm going to blow a gasket. I'm going to go just the opposite because I see Earl standing up and he looks like uh, angry Earl and... Uh, it looks like he's upset, Fuzzy, so maybe that's not the uh, exact way to go with this. Maybe I don't even want to hear the story. Do I not even want to hear the story, Earl? No, you don't. It's that bad? No, I have nothing to say about this. Uh, nothing. Our intern, uh, Bronx Johnny, said to me, uh, I've cleaned it all up. So that's that's as close as I know. Yeah, because when I was coming in the studio, uh, we have a big window that leads out into the that shows into the office way. And as I'm sitting here, I see a giant box. Look at you! <laughs> You've had more energy from this, though. You're yeah. like one of those kids in the family that loves the drama. Dad's drunk. You ever <laughs> have, you know that one? That's like they couldn't be more up than when the parents are fighting. One of the teachers started screaming today. Yeah, yeah. Earl was tossing a giant box of stuff right in front of the window. It just went flying across the room. So that's what Bronx Johnny has cleaned up well, for us. Thank God for Bronx Johnny, the uh, the middle child who wants to make sure everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. It might be time for me to go into my Harper Valley PTA dance. Mom, mom and dad aren't breaking up. Everything's fine. I don't know what happened. Earl, you tell me. I don't even want to know. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even look into this. Thank. Not even worth discussing on you. Yeah. Not at all. I And 
I'm trying to stay calm. I yeah. really am. Yeah. Well, throwing boxes isn't going to help that. Put an eye out. Oh, some of those boxes, they have sharp corners. Yes, that's right. And I'm Fez a... has diabetes, so he needs his eyesight. Well, you should see my phone and my bathroom door. Everything's going crazy at your house. Right. Shit all I, over it? No, <laughs> I, I, I think I knocked it off its hinge. Here's the thing. Don't wipe your ass with your phone or your bathroom door. Wow, that shouldn't even have to be said. Hey, uh, at, well, it is going to be said. It is going to be said until everybody understands it. Adam, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah. Earl, I am so disappointed in you. Uh, you took a real ass whipping on there this morning and did not handle yourself like a black man at all. You just got flustered and beat the hell out of your phone. I ain't even afraid of black men anymore now. All right. Well, you can't compare Earl with most. And you have to remember that ONA and Earl have this long history that they go back a long way where it's kind of a, I don't want to say love-hate. It's love, and then there's a taunting and teasing and something that happens that sends Earl into the spiral. Like a tough love? Yeah, it could be a tough love, but the tough love should work to make the guy tougher, not uh, go into... uh, a whole downward place. Well, it was a situation where they kept asking me questions, and every time I tried to answer it, one of them would start screaming at me. So yeah. I just got flustered, and I threw the phone across the hall. And broke it? I didn't, I didn't break it. The door is another story. Yeah. I just got, I was like, why am I talking if they're not going to let me get a word in? You know your own history. You know this, Earl. You were any W world. No, I, mean, I just, you know, and I was running. I just couldn't deal with it this morning. That's you can never I... deal with it. That's something that has gone on as long as we've known the three of you guys. That's what I heard when I walked in. That was the first thing I heard out of the ONA office. Yeah. N-E-W-R-L is back. Mm. Who said that? Um, I think Opie said that. Yeah. Opie said it. It was the first one I heard. Then a lot of people chimed in as well. Earl, they're just getting in your kitchen. It's just not a way to start a day. I and know, your bathroom. But you know the gimmick. You've been up on the hill before, refusing to ski. We could go through every single story. You wouldn't touch the cotton. It's a long thing that you have. <laughs> Sounds crazy when in, in hindsight. Yeah. This is what ha- well, this is what it's all about, Earl. That's your relationship. Here's uh, Hollywood, and I have heard none of it. I ha- I have no idea what started it or how we got to this point, other than the fact that a young intern had to go picking up a bunch of boxes today. And Bronx Johnny, you couldn't get any better than that, Fezzi. Bronx Johnny is the man. He's right there. Yeah, he was the he was the oasis of calm. Were those Emma's boxes or moving boxes? Oh no, that box says Earl across it. Oh. Like, Earl's stuff has been loaded up for him to leave the building. Oh, 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 is that right? (laughs) That's why that box got thrown. The details will trickle in as we go. I gotta start listening. I gotta start listening. I gotta get uh, one of these satellite radios I hear everybody talking Mm -hmm. about. Uh, Here's uh, Jesse. Jesse, you're on Rana Fez. Hey, Jesse. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, Earl didn't deserve that, and I thought he handled himself very well this morning. By what? Breaking phones and throwing boxes? No, that was off there. On there, I thought he handled himself very well. Earl, did you feel like you handled yourself very well? And again, I don't know what happened. I, I stood up for my guys. That's all I'm going to say. That's, again, I really do not want to talk about this. Okay. All right. Here's Ken. Ken, you're on Run Fez. Hey, um... I disagree with the last caller. Uh, he got everything he deserved because at the start of the phone call, he just wouldn't tell the truth. He tried to hem and haw and get around the subject and wouldn't just own up to responsibility, and he got what he deserved. Is that right, oh, Earl? What? Own up? Is that statement true? What's happening? No, they asked me what we were doing last night. We were working on production last night. Right. That's the truth. How is that hemming and hawing? That's, that's, that's not How is that hemming and hawing? What they asked was, was anybody in our office? And his yes. first answer was no. No, I said we were working on production. That's what I said. You told them you were, we were working, working on production. production. The only place, the, the one place we work on production is the bullpen. Said you were in their office. I said we if were working in the bullpen deserved. on production. I wish I had heard this. You should have just answered the question, yes or no, I, like they asked it. You wouldn't have had all that world of shit. I, I thought I did answer the question. 
Uh, they were no, they were trying can, to whatever they were trying to bait me into. Time. I just would not go into it. I was like, you know what? We were working on production last night. That's the truth. What were you working on? Production. Yeah. You're all upset like that crazy Bible lady. You know, when you had your Bible with you yesterday, there's something about the Bible believers that are just, that their anger is right there all well, the time. I had it just to, to match her quotes when she was just quoting yeah. stuff out of the air. Can I just uh, bring up one thing? Hold on, hold on. The Pope is on fire. The Pope. The Pope is on fire. He don't get no water, let that heretic burn. First he was a liar, now he's on fire. He don't get no water, let that heretic burn. Did they win Best New Artist last night? They should have. They remind me of the Roaches. I don't know <laughs> if that goes back a little too far. All right, so it looks like our show, Fuzzy, mm -hmm. that there's tension. There's a lingering tension with, Fe with uh, Earl. You have reverted to the uh, little child in the family that uh, now what's going to happen? What's going to happen? That brings back your old stuff. Oh, totally. I remember there would be one night a week because my dad worked nights and mm -hmm. my mom was home during the, uh, was home at, uh, during the day. Mm -hmm. And so they never really saw each other. And so any time a fight would break out right. would be Sunday night. It would be like the one time they were both at home. Your favorite TV night. Exactly. Sure. And uh, that's when the fights would break out and I would just be shaking like a leaf. I would be a nervous wreck. And what I would do is I'd put on Harper Valley PTA. I'd actually take the album out of the cover, put it on the turntable and do a funny dance to it where I would shake my ass trying to get everyone to laugh instead of yelling at each other. It's so weird how similar you and I are because I remember when I was a kid, when my parents would start to fight, I would get into the liquor cabinet and then just go through my mom's purse. Yeah, I never did that. I never had a drink over it. Hmm. Yeah. I meant in a so positive way. So not really all that same. I meant in a positive way. Like, uh, now I can finally treat this place like it's my house. Uh, Dylan, Dylan, you're on Ronna Fez. How are you? Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, I just think that uh, what Opie Anthony did to uh, Earl this morning was wrong. I think it was unprofessional and... They have uh, access to so many obscure uh, sound bites that I think that they could have came up with something that they got from the Grammys last night with uh, not a big, not a whole lot of problems. Well, I don't know what the thing is, but see, here's what you have to remember. Again, uh, Earl and Opie go way back. They have this very strange relationship. Fez and I noticed that when we first uh, met both of them, that there was like either thing where like Earl was like fiercely loyal to those guys, or he would leave the building for weeks at a time, and then you know I'd be like, well, I guess uh, that's it for Earl. I guess Earl quit then, and the next time I would see him, he would be totally tight with him again. So they have this very dysfunctional thing that goes uh, way back, and you know. Opie's the one who, you know, used to call me and said, look, I really think Earl's a new guy and you're really going to like him. And he couldn't have pushed him any more to me. But we knew this kind of stuff was going to happen as well. It's like best friends and worst enemies all rolled into one. And it's like they like the drama. They like the dance. Is that, does that seem true at all to you, Earl? Yeah. Break up to make up? I don't like drama. Period. I don't like any tension. In a way, you do. It's that sexual energy that you're looking for that you lack in your I personal do, life. I do not want to bang Opie. Thank you very much. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's a makeup for the fact that you don't have enough sexual tension. What? I got plenty of that what? tension. <laughs> Niagara Falls, that girl? No. The Niagara Falls gal? No, that's that's Fezzi's fiance. Oh yeah, I get mixed up. When I walked in today, Earl was asking for a nitro tablet. Were you really? <laughs> Here comes Opie. Hey, Ope. Ope, look what you left me with. Hey Take guys, what are you talking about today? <laughs> Take a look at what you left me with. What's wrong with him today? He's in He's... a pile over there. He won't even take his black sunglasses <laughs> off. It, it's uh, it's the uh, late morning, and he's got it, the sunglasses on. He's all covered up. He's furious. He's throwing stuff. All right, I'll admit we might have went a little too far by packing his box with his stuff. So he's not leaving? 
Well, I mean, they're getting rid of the dead weight, and maybe we went a little too far. He's not even looking at you. Earl, I got you the gig. That part's true. Did I or or did I not get you the gig? So you're saying you could take it away at any time as well? No, I don't have that power. I'm not going to be cocky. I got you the gig, Earl. No, I just did not appreciate getting a call at 8.15 in the morning, getting screamed at. Our whole show is fucked up. Screamed at. We count on the audio that we collect overnight. Why? And you sat in there, you put your feet up, and you started changing the channels. That is absolutely, you positively s- not true. What, put our feet up and watch? Understand. Put my feet up? <laughs> we were working all last night. This place, <laughs> is, mic down. This place is Earl's apartment. He can't. His own place is not livable. It's covered with what? It's like moss in there or something, Earl? It's the black mold or something, right? No, we have uh, mold from the ceiling, and also, yeah. and it's just surrounded by CDs. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Earl is uh, walking around this place at night in a robe, he's brushing <laughs> his teeth. This is where he lives. Does mold? Uh, does Earl have mold on his body because he doesn't move too fast? It's a joke, Earl. That's not going to help, is it? <laughs> that was just a joke. Nothing. Earl, what is it that you want to say? Let's Dr. Phil this situation. I'm, I'm not saying anything. There's right, something look, that you, I will not say a thing. There's something any, you really want to say at this open. point is going to be wrong. Look, let's work it out. Yeah. Let's this work is it a out. safe that. place. Let's work this it out. It's a safe place. All right, so maybe you didn't have your feet up on a desk, but you were changing the channels, right? No. He said yes on our show. I did not. <sighs> and then he turned off the program. Is that true? Oh, God, no. That is not true. Did you call E-Rock and say, oh, my God, I we, think I did something? We were working on um, one of the uh, Adobe's in the back, and I went to minimize it, and I accidentally hit something else. What show were you watching, Earl? I was not watching anything. Girlfriends? No. Are you telling me that you So think- I called E-Rock, and I said, hey, look, this is what... And I, and I wasn't in a panic. I just said, hey, look, this is what happened. No, is no. this correct? And I said, E-Rock was very passionate today for the first time in a long time on our show. Is he was right? yelling and screaming. And yeah, fir- he had a lot of energy. And the first thing I said, and I said, because you know why? I don't want to screw up the audio for you guys. Well, you did. I said, I don't want to do we that. We didn't even talk and about he, the Grammys. And he, wa- and he walked me through the process, and we corrected the problem. No, you didn't. We totally corrected the problem. I, w- I went step by step. With him. I was like, is this supposed to be there? Yes. Is this supposed to be there? Yes. So why do we have audio today? I have no idea. You're just saying my guys are dummies? I'm not saying that at all. Who's the blame? I, uh, I, and I, I just, I'll say this again. The ONA crew has been amazing to this show and to the crew. To our crew. <laughs> they have been great with us. What, what do you accept? Mean? Yeah, you're accepting a fucking award up there. No. Yeah. Tonight we uh, yes. Earl honor with But the- all except for E-Rock? I, is that what I'm hearing? I'm not throwing Iraq under the bus. And, and, Iraq helped me out. He helped instead me. of uh, Grammy's audio, we had Fox News and SpongeBob. Thanks to we, you, Earl. You know what? Earl <laughs> loves Fox SpongeBob. Fox News was on all and, night last and night. The, it was all when we got there. And also the What's Happening Marathon. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Here's some audio from the ONA show today. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> all right, here comes Iraq. Iraq, what happened? With you and uh, Earl. Where did the love go? Earl, co- Earl called me. Is this on? Yeah. Yep. No, that button right there. No, oh, you're on, on, you idiot. Oh, I'm not here. You don't okay. hear yourself in your headphones? No, the headphones aren't working. Yeah, Sorry. you got to turn them up, too. <laughs> yeah, you got a Cracker Jack staff, Opie. <laughs> was that? No, I'm not on. Push that button as the whole country is listening to you. That's that's terrific. No, uh, Earl had called you're me. You're worth every penny, I got to tell you. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, Earl called me uh, in a frenzy that he thought he shut down our TV recording system. Uh-huh. So I walked him through, and, he, and it turn, seems that it was there. And we got a whole eight minutes of the Grammys before it got turned well, off. Well, then, Earl, why are you shocked that you're taking the heat from this if you know you're the one who shut it down somehow? No, I didn't shut I just what I found out. I did not shut it down. E-Rock, is it safe to say that someone changed the channel? Yes. For the listeners out there, maybe they don't understand. If you change the big TV, it screws up everything, right, E Rock? Yeah. All the uh, so someone was sitting in there, grabbed the remote, we and said, working. "The Grammys are boring. I want to see what else is on TV," and what, that's what screwed up everything. God's for honest us. truth, and I hated every and, second of it. Fox News was on there when we got in there, and it was on when we left. Then. Yeah, but Fox didn't have the Grammys. Exactly, which means I didn't change it. But the Grammys were on for the first seven minutes. We have proof of that. All right, uh, 
Wow. Your people are running in with communiques. Yeah. Our people are running in with communiques. I smell cage match. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Anthony on the uh, line. How you doing, Ant? Hi, guys. How you doing? I'm just listening to this. Uh, Earl is getting me in a tizzy. I'm driving in a tizzy, listening to Earl saying that uh, he's like being called up that early in the morning and then trying to be coaxed into something or, uh, like, trying to beat him with questions. He asked him, were you in our office? He said no. That was a lie. They blinked a lie. Earl, were you in there? Well, I said we were working. We were working in the bullpen on production. Guess, That's what we were. We were in the office, the bullpen, the office. No, no, listen to the replay today. You'll hear it for yourself. He said he was not in our office. Oh, wait a minute, he just left. He just left. He said he was watching the Grammys in there. Where'd he go? That, Where's he oh, going? Oh, I hear yelling. I hear yelling. I love he, yelling. All right. He's all running. Mike it. Mike it. Screaming and running. Mars, take a mic down there if you would. One of the portable mics. What is going on? A lot of screaming and yelling just went on down the hallway. I don't know if it was <laughs> Earl or... <laughs> Where did he I, go? I'm not even kidding. For what the, happened? I'm not even kidding for the radio or anything. Yeah. There's 12 guys that just ran after Earl with <laughs> cell phones. I'm running down the call you. stairs right now. Where? He can't leave. Eastside Dave? Eastside Dave? Cart. All right, his oh phone is getting yeah, in and out. Yeah, turn that off uh, the, because his, his madness. The preliminary report is that he just ran down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> then he went to the elevator. This is his job. <laughs> he can't run out of here. <laughs> he didn't like hearing the truth. The truth of the matter was that he was being evasive when being asked a simple question. He won't accept the fact that we asked him where was he or anyone from the Ron Fest show in our office yesterday. And he didn't even say it's a yes or no question, not we were doing for Dutch. It's just a fucking question. And when he gets to the point where he's gotten and someone has him, then he's got to explode and run away from the situation. So what he's always done. Well, s uh, someone will get on 58th Street. He's got to be out there. <laughs> There's nowhere else for him to go. Out the back entrance. I swear this is so N.E.W. I used to see him <laughs> running down the street on my way in. <laughs> Remember <laughs> when we used to come in and you'd see Earl, and he would, and you'd say, Earl, what are you doing? Oh, I had to take a few hours to cool off. <laughs> a few hours away from his job. And then job. he asked him to cool off from what? And he'd be like, ah. yeah, he, he, he would have nothing at that point. I, oh, I, I saw him in the village one time, I swear to God, during the show. <laughs> All right, here's Jimmy Norton. Jimmy, what's happening out there? Earl makes me sick. He lied. He lied. He, he called up. They said, were you in the office last night? No. First thing he said was no. Listen for yourself on the replay. He lied. We don't have... He we have he wasn't in the office. He's got nowhere else to go. It's like getting mad at a homeless guy. <laughs> he's got to sleep somewhere. He's, he's, this place is basically his box. And now the ONA staff is in master control running our show because our staff just hightailed it down the steps. They actually are. They're in there helping you guys yeah. out now because they all abandoned ship. <laughs> Jesus. Apparently Ben is running down the street with a cell phone oh, right now. We, Ben's going to jump out of a heart yet? attack. That's great. Thanks. Thanks, uh, guys. They're trying to get him. Just look out the window. We should be able to see him go by. Do we have an XM copter that can follow Earl around from spot to spot? Good traffic. Now, have you ever worked anywhere or had any job where a person could run out? I've never. I've never had the job. That's the beauty of that radio. you can leave. The beauty. Yeah. Thank God Earl's not a pilot. Yeah, it's true. Huh? Uh, Earl's All right. back. All right. Earl, there he is. Earl. Okay, he's back Earl. in the building. All right, good. All right. Back Earl. in master control. Yeah. I, let's check in with him. Earl, where'd you go, buddy? Go ahead. No, here's the thing, too. When Earl gets mad, he gets slower. He's in no mm. hurry now. All right. Take your time, Earl. I'm sorry. I was yeah. highly disrespectful. All right, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. It was insane is what it was. All right, Earl. Wait, Fez, you walked out of the show once. I have a heart condition. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. I forgot. What did Anthony say that made you run out no, of here? I just don't want to deal with this. Yeah. At all. It's in my mind. It's already over. But, hey, you only but, got another two and a half hours. But Earl, <laughs> Earl, I, I'm talking as your friend now, not the asshole that does the radio show. Just admit you were wrong. The difference, sort of, slight. <laughs> <laughs> I know them both, <laughs> and you can't tell me. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. I think Earl. you're worse off there. <laughs> if I had to be honest, <laughs> Earl. Admit that you were in there and you changed the channel. That's all. I did not 
change the channel. We were working in that office. You but said I did on the not show today that you, were watch, you said you were watching a little bits and pieces of the Grammys. Yes, in, in here. this room! Nobody believes him. He ran in out of that big room. flat screen TV to watch in that little no. shitty office. In this room! No, you're lying. Earl. You're lying. You know what? Then don't believe me. I don't. Earl. You're covering for someone or you're lying? Earl. You're covering I, for someone. I am not. I will sit. I am Earl. not lying. With uh, God is my witness. I Earl, not take lying. a deep breath and walk us through last night. Off the air. Hey, um, you just turned you. us all off the air. <laughs> he, yeah. he got upset, turned off his mic, and turned everyone's <laughs> mic off from master control in the process. Earl, I, I, that wasn't outrageous. Just take a deep breath and walk us through last night. That's yeah, all I'm asking. Just tell the truth. Well, That's all I'm asking. Which pl uh, uh, how, how, how are we supposed to believe anything he's saying when the first question that was asked of him, his answer was a lie? A lie. No, I'm not believing that. I did it. not change that channel. You said Period. you were in the office Period. when we asked We you. were in the office. We were doing production. We did not change the so channel. So it changed itself. That sounds too much like Clinton right there. Uh, yeah. Did not <laughs> change that the Earl? channel. Is. But, right. well, how many times Earl. I got to say it? We did not change the Earl. channel. Yes, you did. Look at me. Uh, oh! Not do that, not Mike. He break. just body slammed the microphone. <laughs> do not break a, break the XM equipment. I suppose you didn't do that either, huh, stupid? <laughs> <laughs> From 8 to 11... You didn't change the channel once. Of course they did. Earl, I watched that shitty show. I kept turning it on and off all night long. It was terrible, but then I go, well, maybe something better is on, and I went back. I understand completely what you went through. I got an important question for Earl. Sly, uh, Sly, what do you think? <laughs> you never saw him? Did you see Sly do his thing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Not, no response. Old Earl. Old Earl. Oh, my God. He broke that microphone broke now. It. The microphone uh, that he slammed down. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Like he fixed it. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? Did you see Sly and the Family Stone last night? In this room, yes. Oh, no. In oh, this oh, room, boy. yes, What was did. on the big TVs, though, in our, in our office? What was on the big TV? All night was Fox. So you, you were in there, and you had a concern about shutting something off, and then Fox just came on by itself? And no, it was Eric? on when I walked in the room! And why were you on the computer with Eric trying to fix the uh, program? No, not fix the program. We, we were on the computer. So, Earl, the, no. is the point you're trying to make that the ONA guys never set up the bullpen to record the Grammys? The show, it was on Fox all night. They fucked up. So they fucked up, and they're blaming it on you. I'm not you. saying they did or they didn't. I'm just saying it was. I'm telling you what I walked into. It was on Fox. What happened? Now what's going on? Uh-oh. They're taking him out of his room. What happened? Why? Steve, what happened? Here comes Than. Why is Master Poe trying to remove Earl from the room? What happened? Room? <laughs> Why? What is going on in there? It's what it looks like. Why? The what? They don't want Washington doesn't want Earl wa working the equipment anymore because they're afraid. DC has called. <laughs> DC headquarters has called. Has called. Oh. Get out of there. Oh, that's gonna put him in an even better mood. Oh well, yeah. All right. Well. Free up his mic. Yeah. Earl, who who said that you had to get away from the equipment? Oh, I know. I was told DC. Who from DC? I have no who idea. Who got the call? I don't know why I who got, got the call. I don't know who got the call either. Wow, Cindy Sheehan at the State of the Union address. Come with me, miss. He's being relieved of his command. Yeah. They're pulling you out of there, Captain Bly. This is Captain Bly. They're going to put him in a little skip. <laughs> <laughs> Enough water, and here's my sextant. I know it to be, I know it to be in working order. <laughs> who knows who made the call from D.C.? Poe, how, how did you know to pull him out? Steve. Steve. All right. Uh, well, let's get Steve then. Yeah. This is a fine chain of command. Let's play the drug game. All right. Who, g who gave you the dope? <laughs> because that money's going to the terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Steve C? Steve is wandering to the other side of yeah. the uh, building. He doesn't want. Steve. Here comes Ben. Ben. Somebody come in and say Steve. why Earl can't touch his board anymore. Believe it or not, we're, we're yeah. still trying to do a radio show here. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> uh, Steve, who, who told you to tell Poe? To pull Earl. Uh, ben got a call from Wiki, and Wiki said get Earl off the board, please. Uh-oh. Wiki, huh? Wiki? 
Yeah, he didn't want him breaking the equipment. I think that's a, a, an executive decision. <laughs> I was throwing equipment around. Proving he doesn't know good radio when he hears it, though. <laughs> Jesus. Earl, now you got to figure out a way to get even with the wiki. That's the problem for you. I want to get even with anybody. I just want to do my damn job. <laughs> I would get a box, put some stuff in it, and write wiki across the top of it. Or give him a radio show and then produce it. <laughs> if your job is lying and lying and ruining our clothes, job well done. Ooh. Earl, how do you feel when you saw the box with your name on it? Amongst uh, the boxes uh, of the other people that are leaving here. He was not happy. That's everything he owns. Did it make you Everywhere. sad? Everywhere. No, not at all. It made me very angry. There's a hot plate and a can of beans in there. Why don't you show Wiki and start breaking some of the stuff in here? If you're going postal, who would you take out first? I don't know. When you're not getting angry, saying. I don't think straight. But just saying, who would you take out Whoever's first? Whoever's in front of me, quite honestly. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Right, hate Earl. crime. Are we good? Everything okay now, Earl? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, I don't. I don't. I'm not going to say anything. Well, you just tell us what happened on SpongeBob last night. <laughs> Maybe that's the way to go. That always cheers you up, a little SpongeBob. No, Earl. Comment. None. Earl's having flashbacks of Carol Miller, Miller and Scott to walking down the hallway, just like the old days. This really is a long relationship that you've had with this, Earl. This is the way basically Fez and I met you during one of these heats. <laughs> Who's the black guy? Why is he so upset? <laughs> Full circle. All eyes are on you, Earl. What's Keep looking. Word? I'm not saying anything. You just said something, though. Real mature, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how do we get back to square one, Earl? How do you fix this I want thing? to do a radio show. Yeah, let's bring it all back do. together here. Yeah. I said I didn't want to discuss it. Let's what? move on. Why we don't got a radio do this? Show. Turn you... back time. Turn back time. Turn back time. I think Cher said it best. Yes. When the Grammys last night, did you see it, Earl? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Fezzi will be wearing the Cher uh, outfit for you. How's that? Nothing? All right. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How much damage did you do at NEW over the years? I know a phone was smashed there. Two microphones. I got you beat. <laughs> uh, two microphones. A st I think a studio door. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Who kicked in that door that uh, cost a couple of grand? No, that wasn't me. That was... But that, that, it happened twice, but one was <laughs> completely an accident. <laughs> right. All right, Earl. All right. Let's all sing together here. There you go, Earl. Sing it, Earl. <laughs> like a Jenny Craig commercial. <laughs> Earl, what did you think of Sly and the Family Stone last night? Weird. It, is there some reason he turned into Wendy O. Williams? <laughs> is there any reason at all that happened over the years? I don't even think that was him. No, I don't know who the fuck the hell that was. was that. I don't know what that was. He walks on stage for two minutes, plays a little bit, and walks away. And they kept his mic off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I would, too. It's the kindest thing you could do. <laughs> Wiki called halfway through the Grammys. <laughs> Get him off the stage. Earl, comment. Yeah, it was weird. It's it was up strange. to you, man. Tell Opie how you You're really the leader. Feel and you got yeah, to do something here. You're no, uh, EP. You know, all eyes are on you. Washington's listening. Yeah. No, we, we, you know, Canada's as listening. Far as I'm America's listening. worked out. I mean, actually, Don and I, we had a very good talk this morning, and we worked about it out. what? Just all this. Yeah. So I'm like, it's over in my mind. Well, here's a good thing it's very difficult to fire a black man. Very difficult. <laughs> you always got that going. When Which it's you nice. and Snoop Dogg are the only ones in the company. <laughs> <laughs> now it's ludicrous. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh. oh, we got Oprah. Yeah. All we right, got good. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Uh, so Dan, oh, I'm sorry, and Ludacris. Oh. Ludacris has a show also. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What mm -hmm. are those guys like? And Tyra Banks, so you better <laughs> start being careful. They're, they're getting quite a stable. <laughs> this has really fucking changed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Before you know it, they're going to close the train station. It's awful. <laughs> What's happening around here? <laughs> Nothing, Earl? No. How about a laugh? Yeah. Bring us all together. No, I do apologize for walking off. Sure. You Who are you apologizing to? How far did you get? I, I went, there was like a bathroom. I just splashed some water on my face. Earl. I just heard a bunch of people running down the stairs like a... Like, Earl. These freaking guys were like trailing me like an army. Earl, I think you owe me a, an apology. I think quite so, honest. A big, what? sincere one. I was what? the one... For what?
I from what? Lying. I saved you. Really? Not helping. I saved you from NEW. You were miserable there. I, I uh, talked to these guys. Forced. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I vouched for you. Forced. I uh, had long discussions with these guys, saying that I know Earl could do the job. Threatened. He's uh, he's changing. I think he could be a leader. I think he could be great in a leadership role. And this is how you treat me. I, I just want you to, how, how did I? I just want you to I, thank me for bringing you Texam. That's all. I think I deserve have that. I, I've always have thanked, I thanked you. You, you, have, <laughs> you have never officially thanked me for uh, I, never. I have, for, I have for said bringing you Texam. I have said to your face and on quite, more than one quite occasion. Quite frankly, I'm insulted. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for bringing me to XM. Thank you for for rescuing me from the hell that became NEW. I hope you right. actually have to actually convince DC that you're not black. You're Northern Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so you're thanking me. And, and I and I I've always thank you. All right, thank me to my face. I, I'm doing it now. All right. I don't hear a thank you. I didn't either, sir. <laughs> what about anything for Ant? Yeah, what about Something Anthony? Oh, still there? Yeah. Yeah, what about no, Anthony? Thank you, Anthony. All right. You always stood up for me, I think. I, 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 I will say that. What about a little dance? No. All yeah. right. I didn't know how far I could go. <laughs> what about a little song? <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> I, uh, and you're going to apologize for what you did today? I, I, you kind of wrecked our show. Let's be honest. I did not no matter what wreck it, that show. No matter what lying. it was, you kind of wrecked the show. And Just apologize. Lying. We'll move on. I will forget about it. But I think you. Uh, I, think I, I think you owe uh, myself, Jim Norton, and the rest of the gang a little bit of apology because yeah. things got screwed up today, right, Anthony? Absolutely. Just a I little. Mean, okay. A little apology. If that will end it, yes, I apologize. Apologize for what? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. I don't think I'm in a position to accept. <laughs> apologize oh, for what? He's still hurting. Just mm. say apologize. Uh, apologize for wrecking our show today. and That's for it. lying about it in a filthy, disgusting fashion. <sighs> we'll accept an apology. Let's that you... get it over with, Earl. We'll accept no, an apology no, that you uh, wrecked you know, our show today. No, you know what it is? My pride is something. He's like, wait a minute, you're gonna own up to something you didn't do? Well, you have but to. You should. Yeah, get rid of the pride. I really, I really need an apology. I got to tell it you, like, it's been a tough morning for me. The thing you feel is pride. All right, just apologize. It's not like people are going to remember. Trust no, me. Don't care. Fuck pride. These guys have such great radio ahead. In the mm. next couple hours, it doesn't matter. You might no. feel a little. If it makes it go away, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> pride, fucking with you. <laughs> fuck pride. Uh, he apologized <laughs> to us. I think that was the right thing to do, Earl. All right. All right. He apologized. Okay, Earl. I <laughs> there you go. You feel better, Earl? Yeah. No, I do like not. Like you got it off your chest? <laughs> but, Earl, just they believe the office is a restricted country club. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend it's Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Earl. Black people at Bushwood, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling a little bit, Anthony. Yeah. You almost got him. Good. All right. Are you happy now, Earl? Everything back to normal? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking furious. Why? Oh. With who? With it. <laughs> With just the it. But you apologize. The so things are all right. Yeah. Now. It's okay. By it, he means white people. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the man. <laughs> <laughs> New word. Yeah. All right, Earl. Can I go home now? Yeah, nobody told you couldn't go home. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. You're not gonna chase him down the stairs, are you? No. I have no gripes with the... Look at Poe. He's waiting for me to snap. He's going to break my neck if I go after him. Call Wiki and see if we all can get back in his hole. See if everything's forgiven. Because you're no good out here, Earl. I'm not used to you in this room. What? I didn't want to come in here. I like my, I like my room. <laughs> do, you have, do you want to tell Wiki right now I'm not crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Nothing sounds crazier than I know. That's right. the worst thing that you can say. I am not crazy. <laughs> Just say, I, I, when I lose it, I lose it. I yeah, totally should. lose it. Yeah. Yeah. That was he's a big surprise today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect that. <laughs> like Chekhov did after uh, they pulled the creature out of his ear and wrapped it. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, we're getting a communique. Ensign Earl reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Steve, why don't you grab that mic? I, I mean, sorry, it's your show. I'm just used to the. Uh, you go ahead and grab it. Yeah. Steve. Bossy? Uh, Earl, it's okay uh, if you want to get back on the board. Just there you go. Me the okay Shoot. from DC. And and <laughs> <laughs> You go Earl! You go baby. Yeah! Yeah! 
Hey, show Wiki, go in there and take a shit on that board and say, here's what I think of you. That's right. Egg Get saying. back in there. Yeah. Get back in there and take charge, Earl. Yeah. This business needs you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, do you got a new opening? Is that what you did last night? Yeah, we did a couple of things. Then why don't we we'll take a break and we come back. It's a brand new show with Earl's brand new opening. All right? Yeah. Huh? And we start from there. Let's take those sunglasses off and you're a sunshiny guy. No, I, actually, I do need them there because the glare is awful. Sure there. you do. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank and, you guys for having me on, by the way. I've yeah. never been on your show. Yeah, That's anytime you'd uh, like. Thank you. You know, once, Thank let's see if the HBO man. show takes off. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to have you come in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, thank you later, Thanks, Ed. Ed. Bye, Jimmy. Hey, boys. I love right. you, Earl. We're going to take a break, and it's brand new Earl show with your opening, and everything's going to be great. Right, Earl? Yes. Okay. Ron and Fizz, <laughs> XM202. All right, Ron and Fez show. That's what you were working on last night, Earl? One of the things. Nine, oh, one. Yeah. Oh, one of the many. All right, good stuff. Yeah, it's the Ron and Fez show. Brand new show, Fezzy. Just starting right now. Like, uh, during the uh, commercial break, uh, Ben came in to me and said, uh, don't worry about Earl, that's just something he does once a year. Oh, that means we're going to get six more weeks of winter. Oh, is that what that means? When, if Earl has a meltdown <laughs> in February, that means we're getting six more weeks of it. People come from all over Pennsylvania just to <laughs> see whether he's going to have the February meltdown or not. Puck- Satani Earl. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ryan. Ryan, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, I miss Bible clutching, Earl. Me too. Um, uh, here's our buddy Cigars and Scotch. How you doing, Cigars? Hey, how's it going? Good. At the last time Opie and Anthony got Earl this upset, he nearly bled to death. He was in an ICU with a bleeding ulcer. Do you remember? blame them on your ulcer? Do you think they gave you that ulcer, Earl? No, that was... That was eight years of completely bad living and bad eating habits. But you know what? But it's also stress. It's also stress, my friend. No, that was I was out of shape. I wasn't taking care of myself. I mean, of but course, you, the job was didn't help any. But but you still feel stress in your stomach anytime anything goes bad for you. You you start popping your an uh, your antacids. Yeah, I mean, I I try to manage the stress as best as I can. I don't blow up that often, but when I do, I I erupt, and it takes me a while to come out of it. Yeah, you just go away. Today it was literally. Today it was down the stairs go away. I thought Earl takes care of this. No, you can't take care of this, Earl? Well, I could take care of it, yes. Yeah, so why am I getting these things? Why am I getting these notes during the uh, show? Why would I know about anything like that? Honestly, I, didn't, I wasn't even aware of the note. I'm sorry. Earl, are you feeling more like yourself now? Earl, for the second time today, I feel like you're covering for your staff. I feel like you're covering for your staff. You're taking the bullet for them. Yeah, it's the Ron Fez show. Boy, Earl's still fighting with the staff uh, in commercial time. We can't seem to shake this thing. We are back to uh, NEW Earl. Earl, what's going on, buddy? You can't get along with the staff? No, it's the head of miscommunication. That's all I'll say about it. But you, here's what you got to understand. You're EP, executive producer. You're in charge of everything, bro. Yes. You know, and it, you know, obviously if I delegate a duty to someone, I expect it to get done. And they're not doing it? No, I mean, it was just, again, it was just a miscommunication. That's all. Everything's but all worked we out We worked now? it out now. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right, Ron and Fez show. Ah, Fez, look who just walked in here. It's our good friend Eastside Dave. Dave, you were telling me off the air you were the gentleman in here last night with Black Girl. Yeah. Oh, you got to turn on that. the mic. Yes, I was in there with Thurl. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, uh, I had to take a break from the hot dog stand mm-hmm. and uh, was helping Earl out with the production. And what um, happened? Well, I don't think he meant to do it. But he did use a remote control at one point and change the channels. And from my understanding, the channels then get changed on every single computer. And it was the computers that were recording the Grammys. So that uh, they didn't get it because the remote control was changed on all of them. Why would he have the remote control? 
Well, I I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That was a strange thing. And I did actually mention to him, don't change the channel mm -hmm. because there's a sign in there. And I'm very nervous when I have gone in there occasionally. Yeah. I don't go in without Earl. Right. Um, and uh, so I, I always tell him, you know, uh, make sure you see the sign. I don't even sit on the chairs for lack of changing the settings on the chair. All right, so you are saying 100%, in your opinion, Earl was responsible for the boys not having their Grammy tapes this morning. Well, I don't want to um, sell anyone down the... You're not selling anybody the, down the river. The one thing that was a little... was a sticking point with me is I was listening to ONA today, and mm. he kept saying we, and he kept saying, I'll assume responsibility. Right. And when you say that, it sort of it seems sounds... like it's somebody else's fault. It's someone else's, and it, it wasn't me. And... It, I I know Earl's a great guy and everything like that. It was you're, you're covering up rather than just telling us facts. We don't want opinions. Earl, the facts is definitely what? changed the channel. That's all we needed to know. Earl, Earl changed the channel. Why didn't you own up to that first thing this morning? Say I went in there, I changed the channel, I put on Fox, I put on SpongeBob, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, guys. Number one, because I'm not going to scream because I didn't change the channel why would it he was side? on fox what? the entire day right, let and me, the entire night let me go back to the i side. did turn it to the uh the volume down did but he? i did not change all right let me check with channel. you east side well, dave then you he, must have hit no the I wrong button by accident because what happened was, was one minute i heard hannity and then one minute it went down and that, no I, I the screen it, went off the screen went off i did not off. The screen never went off. I turned the volume down. The I never changed the channel. It was on Fox the entire evening. It very so, briefly went to evening. snow. It very briefly, he might not have even seen it. He's got bad eyes. But it very briefly went to snow. Then I said, don't change the channel, Earl. There's a sign that says, don't change the channels. He changed got, it right I, back. I, it I was, see the sign every day. It, it was one second. No, he, here's, here's what happened. It was one second on the TV. So on their main TV, nothing happened. But if you start fucking around with the remote control, I it see. fucks up there. I know what a it hits all the computers. It hits all the computers. Yes. I turned the goddamn volume down. No. It was on Fox. No. And it was on Fox all night. So, Earl, are you going with the technicality of maybe you didn't change channels, but you did turn it off? No. I turned the volume down. For two seconds, there was That's snow. That's it. There that was snow. Well, I, completely I, it. No. No, it's not it. You, and, you and changed I, I, Earl, let me just ask this. Why would Dave come in and say that he saw it if he didn't? There's no upside for him. You know what? I'm saying nothing. I'll That's do, what I'm going to say. I'll do I'm lie, guilty. Okay? I'll, I'll do lie detector. I'm guilty, okay? I will do I'm lie guilty, detector. I'm guilty of guilty because everyone is assuming it no matter what I say. I didn't well, assume it. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I, Ryan. I had dropped the whole thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean you and Fezzi. But. Yeah. Everyone's assuming it. Everyone is believing it. The, then the, it must be true. The problem. The problem is uh, he's trying to Clinton Clintonify it. And right? It's very simple. I'm not trying to Clint. I am not. I am not done anything. Mm -hmm. You're that modulating. Is, that's what I'm doing. I'm. I'm getting blamed for shit I didn't do. He wore his Period. sunglasses three quarters of the shows because he couldn't look anyone in the eyes because he knows he no, had done it. I am seething. That's why. Let me you ask can't look anyone in the eyes because you know you're guilty. Fucking seething right now. All right. Everything was dropped until Dave came in with this yeah. information. Eastside, did the big TV in the ONA office go to snow? It went to snow very while, briefly. While Earl had the remote in his hand. Earl is right that the, when we went in, it yeah. was on Fox News. He he hit the, the, the remote control. It went to snow very briefly. He hit another button. It went back to Fox News. So the the, the TV in their thing wasn't... Uh, was not fucked up at all, but I guess if you start hitting the remote control, it can mess up their computers, I which is why... A, you make uh, it sound like I was holding the thing the entire show. No, no, it was no. three seconds. I, I said I, that. I, I, I said it was three seconds. I said it was three seconds, but the thing I, is... I'm not having this you argument. Can't look at, you have to look at that sign. That's why I don't fucking touch a fucking thing, because we all know what happened to Harry, and I don't fucking want to go even fucking near that shit. So I don't even... I, I pick up a uh, Playboy, so I play it right like, back in the same spot. You feel like you were being set up when they're all going, I'll take responsibility. He kept saying on the ONA show today, yeah. I'll take responsibility for this, which which then... Oh, I own up to it! That's <laughs> take a responsibility! You did not say that, Earl. You did not say, I did this. 
You said I'll take responsibility, which to most of the listeners sounds like I, I someone from the, the, I am the leader of this staff, crew. So whatever the, it is, ultimately my responsibility. I am completely owning up to it. How many times do I have to say that? Oh. I am owning up to it. But One that, more time. It sounds... Make it nice and clear for everybody. Okay. I am responsible. Okay? Thank you. Happy? But that's the, that was the main thing I'm about not. earlier in the show was that right. you weren't saying, I did it. You just kept saying, I'll take responsibility for this. Don't blame my staff. I took responsibility for it. What else do you want? What else do you want, Dave? I got hammered for an hour and a half on the air. What else do you want from me? What do you want? What else? What if the what staff is, got blamed? A lot of people think it was the staff. I will, you know, I'm going to think and do things and the completely staff isn't on my own. Now. And the staff isn't very large. <laughs> it, that's one of the points that I had to bring up also. What's that? You need a bigger staff? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Who's keeping you from that? Wiki? Budgets. Mm. We're going to need a bigger staff of Wiki keeps pulling uh, Earl off of the board. Dave, you saw him turn it off? Yeah, by by mistake. Yeah. I, you know, but he he had the remote control and that er, the one thing is you wouldn't have called E-Rock if if you didn't do it. So don't just stop. No. And that was early. that was like I can name the time that happened. It was like 7:30. And that's when you did. But that that's right why before the Grammys. But that's the point. That's why So how did wait a minute. If I did this before the Grammys, right? They were on the air saying we got eight minutes of the Grammys. So obviously it was after eight o'clock. But maybe a timer it was got obviously switched. Obviously after eight o'clock, which means if I called the Rock at seven thirty, right? Easily seven, like seven ish, seven thirty. Why is everyone blaming you then, Earl? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not blaming them. Did you read the sign? <laughs> you think I? You know the history I had with these guys. You think I want to get in their freaking shit house? Yeah. Do you honestly believe I'm, a, I'm that much of a glutton for punishment? Then why didn't you? Ski? I had I had to point out the sign to him. What sign? The sign that says "Don't change any of the channels. Don't touch anything about the TVs. Anything!" Exclamation point. 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 I he never saw that sign before. That's yeah. true. Right. Uh, everything was dropped, Dave, until you came in and started doing this. Well, someone said to go in. All right. Earl? I didn't want to come in, but someone said, uh... Well, and you're worried about yourself getting blamed. I understand that. Yeah, because it is... It, what, it did come... Ac I'm just saying, Earl, just relax. But I'm just saying, it did come just across. relax. You're the one who got him upset. <laughs> he was fine. He it, was fine. It was like the Ron Fez... Dot net, or Ron Fez... Dot net, Ron <laughs> Fez staff. Yeah. And it, all I'm saying it's just, is... It's like you uh, sold them out, Earl. A little bit. So don't get pissed off at me. I'm just trying to square up the facts about it wasn't necessarily a staff issue. It might have been just on Big Papa's shoulders. No, I, I know what the, <laughs> I know what the issues are. <laughs> yeah. I know there's plenty of issues, and what those is issues, issues will get worked out. What issues? Let's work them out now, buddy. Let me and Fez back you up here. What are they doing to Earl? I'm on Earl's side. Yeah. <laughs> what issues do we need to work on? Mainly upgrading our office, which again we worked. Uh, like right. I said, we worked this all out this morning. Who you and Wiki? Yes, we talked about this this morning. He actually sent me an email on some things. We're working this out. Hmm. So you feel like maybe this is all a good thing? Yeah, me yelling and screaming and acting like a lunatic. Maybe it has. You know what I noticed that when you went to throw the mic this time, you didn't do it. You held on. You held it into your hand. No, I'm That's trying a good thing. not to lose control. Of right. And you know what? And I have respect for the room and for the equipment. Right. And you know what? I, I don't want to do that because, you know what? This crew's great. The XM guys are great. Yeah. And I don't want to piss them off. Well, especially since you have Poe standing behind you now, <laughs> willing to break your neck because you're out of control, Earl. No, I'm out of control when... Never mind. Go ahead. Say it. Let's just finish this now. So we don't have to pick it up tomorrow. Amen. I didn't want to pick it up today. Yeah, me neither. I didn't even know anything about any of this until I came in. All I know is, like, basically for a solid hour between, like, eight fifth between uh, two separate sets of phone calls, I was basically screamed at for an hour. Right. And then screamed at on the air. Again. For something. What that you were put in a, in a tough position by XM. And to me, everything was all settled until Dave came in and told the truth. 
That's the problem. The truth has to be told, as yeah. Kevin Costner from JFK told me. Uh, WJFK? W, uh, <laughs> yeah. He was doing the overnights. Kevin yeah. Coe. <laughs> All right, Earl, I wish you would have just told the truth earlier. It and seems, that would have settled everything. Yeah, it seems like it would have saved a lot of grief, especially on your own. <laughs> I, I was Earl. telling the truth all along. Oh, did that's, you? That's why there's a bunch of people in different threads saying, ah, I think uh, someone on the staff. They can kiss my ass. No, someone on the staff did it, but Earl's taking responsibility. What threads? What I, are you reading fucking message boards during the show? No, but I have uh, my sources. What sources? I can't tell you Everybody's Everybody is a secret around here, Fez. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I don't like it one bit, these secrets going on. It's like a secret society. Like an all-secret society. Well, do you feel, Earl, do you feel like you and Dave are still friends? We're still pals. Why not? You want to put him on with Wiki after? In a couple of minutes? Yeah, we can work it out. Uh, Earl and I are still buddies, because he threw me, kind of, under the bus, under a fucking Mack truck on the ONA show. <laughs> so you're saying if anyone should be mad, it's you. Absolutely! Absolutely. But you don't see me screaming like a crazy person? Uh, I saw you screaming a little bit. I was screaming. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit upsetting. Gotta right. go back to the stand. Sauerkraut. All right. We're uh, out of here, Fez. It's a very odd day. Got off to an odd start and uh, ended odd.